So we guys, Stan All Sports Central will be going over our next schedule preview this 2020 offseason, and it will be over the Oklahoma State Cowboys. And this was a team that went eight and five in the 2019 season. Overall, pretty average year for Oklahoma State, but how they do in 2020 is we're going over here today. We'll also be going over a reason why I think Oklahoma State could be a dark horse in the Big 12, as well as a few players that this team will be losing, who they're going to be returning, and also going over their schedule for the first time this offseason. Starting off with the games that Oklahoma State has had since November. We start off on November 2nd when they played TCU at home. They won that game by a touchdown, 34-27. to And they also beat Kansas, 31-13, to comfortable win there. And they also had a close win against West Virginia on the road, 20-13. to So yeah, overall, they start off November pretty good. Uh, but yeah, of course, there's a tough loss against Oklahoma that would follow that West Virginia game, 16-34. to They lose that game. And then they also lose their bowl game to Texas A&M, kind of a rematch of the Big 12 uh, or what used to be the big, a huge Big 12 matchup a few years ago. Uh, they lost that one 21 to 24. Then also looking at the trend for Oklahoma State this season, they were five and three between September and October, and then three and two between November and the postseason. So yeah, for Oklahoma State, I mean, once again, pretty decent season, eight and five. They were, I mean, pretty consistent over the season, kind of uh, taking tough losses. And yeah, I mean, they got some good wins here and there. But yeah, certainly for Oklahoma State, there was a lot of room for improvement. And time was split up between a couple of quarterbacks last season. We saw Spencer Sanders. He actually led the team in stats. He had 2,000 yards of passing as well as 16 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. He also had a decent 600 yards of rushing. So, yeah, he certainly was a good dual threat quarterback last season. And he will be returning to this team. And he will very likely be your uh, top quarterback heading into 2020. Uh, yeah, he also had two additional touchdowns along with his rushing yards. Uh, but we also saw Drew Brown last season a little bit. And he's going to be... Uh, he's going to be gone after this offseason. He had 810 yards of offense last season as well as seven touchdowns and one interception along with that. They do lose their major running back, Trevor Hubbard. He was a huge part of this team last season. Uh, he actually led the team in yards. Uh, that was insane. He has over 200 or 2,292 yards of rushing last season as well as 21 touchdowns. So, yeah, that's going to be a major loss for this team. They return their second running back, LD Brown. So, it, like... I mean, he'll probably likely take over this running back core. I mean, he didn't get a whole lot of action because Chubba Hubbard really uh, took over the running back core for the most part last season. But yeah, L.D. Brown had 253 yards of offense as well as two touchdowns. And they do return their top wide receiver, Tylen Wallace. That's going to be a huge return. He had over 900 yards uh, with eight touchdowns. And then they also return their second and third receivers, Dylan Stoner and Braden Johnson. Dylan Stoner had over 600 yards of offense with five touchdowns, and then Braden Johnson had just around 500 with four touchdowns as well. So yeah, both those players were big time impacts, and for Spencer Sanders to have an experienced uh, receiving core, that's going to help with a ton going into next season, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, once again, it all goes back to Chubba Hubbard. That's going to be a huge loss uh, for sure heading into 2020. They do lose Jordan McRae, which he was their fourth wide receiver, I believe, and he didn't have a whole lot of yardage. He just had 200 yards, I believe, and then they also lose two offensive linemen and one defensive linemen so yeah the offensive line is taking a couple of hits uh, they also lose one linebacker and one in the secondary so this defense I mean they're only losing three starters that's going to be huge uh, typically you'll see five or maybe even six sometimes starters lost every uh, every season for most teams and Oklahoma State's only losing three so yeah this defense has a ton of potential to improve next season I'd be watching out for them and back to the question that I was talking about earlier will Oklahoma State or is Oklahoma State a 2020 dark horse? And I believe so. No one's really talking about Oklahoma State. and But I think that this team could potentially be a huge surprise in the Big 12 by a couple of terms. One, Spencer Sanders needs to have a better touchdown interception ratio. Once again, he's got 16 touchdown to 11 interception ratio. And that is not going to be good uh, if you're going to be heading into another season and putting up that kind of numbers for interceptions. I mean, that's almost a one-to-one -one ratio with touchdowns and interceptions. And that is not what you want. Typically, a good ratio would be a uh, four to one or five to one. I mean, for example, Joe Burrow had a six to one touchdown interception ratio. So you got to kind of follow that. Uh, but yeah, number two, you also got to fill up that running back core. Of course, Chubba Hubbard leaving once again. That's going to be a tough loss. I think if LD Brown can step up and if he can uh, put up similar yardage as to what Chubba Hubbard was doing, certainly I think Oklahoma State. I mean, they'd be set on this offense because the receivers are going to be good next season. I mean, they're returning all of their top three. So, yeah, Oklahoma State, ton of potential on the offense. And I already said, ton of potential on the defense as they're returning almost their entire defense. So, yeah, Oklahoma State, once again, this is a team that has a ton of potential to be a dark horse in the Big 12 in 2020. I mean, yeah, no one's really even talking about it, which is kind of the crazy thing. 
Now moving on to your 2020 schedule for Oklahoma State, we see Oregon State on September 3rd. We got Tulsa on September 12th, followed by Western Illinois on the 19th. And then you get a bye week, and then it's on to October where you get TCU to open up your conference uh, your conference schedule. Then you got Iowa State at home, Kansas on the road, Oklahoma on the road. Tough, lot, or tough game there is what I should say. Texas A&M on October 31st at home. And then you got Baylor, West Virginia, Texas, or Kansas State, and then Texas to finish off the season. So, yeah, here's what I'm expecting. I'll give you a three guaranteed wins for Oklahoma State in this video. Once again, uh, these are schedule previews, so we won't be going over every game on this schedule, but we will be in our official predictions coming out this summer. And, uh, yeah, we got Tulsa, Western Illinois, and Kansas as your guaranteed wins. I was considering putting Oregon State as a guaranteed win as well. But if you remember last season, uh, I don't even think they made it to a bowl game. I think they were 5-7. and seven. Uh, but last season, towards the end of the season, they really started to pick it up. They started to look really good. So, yeah, I, I watch out for the Oregon State game. Don't sleep on Oregon State next season. Uh, yeah, your record estimation for Oklahoma State will be 8-4 and four to 10-2. and two. That's kind of what I'm expecting. I considered putting up an 11-1 and one in there just for the heck of it. Uh, but I think I'm going to leave the max at 10-2 and two for now. Uh, once again, though, stay tuned for our official predictions, and I'll give you an official record estimate or record prediction. But yeah, I'm going to say 8-4 and four to 10-2. and two. Is right around the ballpark that you can expect Oklahoma State to hang around in. Uh, but nonetheless, that about wraps up our video on Oklahoma State. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this team. Let me know whether you disagree with anything. Uh, let me know your record estimations too, or, or your game predictions too in the comments below. I'd like to hear about those. Okay, thank you all for watching once again. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central, and I will see you all later.